In my last video, I was, I was being attacked by communists again. There is a woman, cockroach is her name. She's beautiful and she's a ready. She's red. You see, red in lead treaty. So she's a communist and she's trying to invade my private property, my libertarian home. As you can see, Elon Musk is still hurt because he had a fight with, with a communist pig. Sarah Pelling, XAA12, and Tallulah Riley are still asleep, so I need to wait to see what's going to happen because the only one good at fighting in my colony is exactly XAA12. That's why I gave him the best rifle. I still have this Soviet bear sleeping right in front of my anarcho-capitalist home. <laughs> yes, in here, there's no, there, we don't talk to communists here, so I'm waiting to see how I'm going to handle cockroach. She's coming from the south. As you can see, I she, she cannot enter anywhere but she can she will come from the north so so that's what that's what I did to try to force my attackers to come to the only place they can which is the opening in the north that's why I put so many traps in there and I should have thought about traps before now it is too late for me to to build a trap and well Talula Riley just woke up and the tribes people from the Red Inlet Treaty are beginning their assault yes a communist assault and well I will prepare myself for my defenses remember that XAA-12 is good with rifles and guns, weapons, so I cannot build that trap and I wouldn't have enough time. So I'm going to just wait. Yes, cockroach is coming, as you can see here on the left side of my screen. And Elon Musk is still sick. So as soon as XAA12 gets up, I'm going to start to protect myself against the communist threat. Yes, Red Scare in this game is real, not like, you know, everybody, I hear communists, there are no communists for crying out loud. Nobody has the guts to be a real communist, like cockroach in here. Yes, yeah, she is making a revolution. <laughs> okay, so I draft XAA-12 because he has the best rifle and he's good at shooting. I also draft Talula Riley and I, although I didn't want to do this, I'm going to draft Elon Musk as well because he has a, a long range rifle. As far as Sarah Pelling, she doesn't have any weapons so I'm just going to leave her and the, the battle is starting, so I'm just shooting the, the, the crap out, out of cockroach. I hit cockroach. And let's see what happens. Let's see. You see, you see how interesting? She hides behind the cover. She gets cover. It's a really interesting and fun game and really tense sometimes. What I'm trying to do here is raise... Elon Musk a little bit so he can shoot. Oh man, Elon Musk just got shot again. So I'm going to bring him back inside. I hope that XAA12 can handle this problem and he did. There you are folks, remember this lesson. Don't take your ideology so seriously. Remember Cockroach, she was a communist she tried to invade my private property and she is dead. Yes, cockroach is dead. So there, 
I, I've won this battle, everybody is intact. Well, Elon Musk is still, she, he got shot again, but nothing I think I can't handle. Thank God. <laughs> this is, uh, remember that you need to give cockroach a grave. Colonists don't like to, to see bodies on the floor, so, so there. And, well, Catalina just nuzzled XA812, sometimes that happens and it puts the colonists in a, in a good mood. And do I have a doctor? Oh, Fort Little Island. Yes, XA812 is the best, is the official doctor now of my colony. I'm going to leave XA812 as my, as my doctor. He, is, he, he has five of, of medicine, it's not that good, but it's good enough, I think, to, to take care of his, of his dad, our favorite billionaire from, from Tesla, Elon Musk, that is hurt. So I have a, I have a, a ball here that, that I'm in some money, 76 silver and a ball so I can arm. I think Sarah Pelli needs a, needs a weapon, now, now she has it. And uh, food is going to be scarce. There is, there's minus 14 outside. It's, and it's still fall, it's not even winter yet. I desperately need wood, so there's no other way. At, at least I cannot, I don't need to worry much about the winter anymore all of my characters are well covered and they're not going to freeze to death yes i was thinking about the bear and here it is the bear the soviet scary grizzly bear and it's right outside but at least not not so close to me anymore. I hope he doesn't. I hope it doesn't get angry or, or hungry. And uh, as you can see here, Sarah Pellin just got in a bad mood because she saw the corpse on the floor. That's why you need to provide a grave as soon as you can for all the, the people that are dead in your colony. So. That's what I'm doing right now. And finding a nice spot for our our communist cockroach I, to bury our communist cockroach poor girl. She should have thought she should have thought better to make the decision of invading a private property in a libertarian world. Yes, this is here is it's libertarian and cap for short. XAA12 is still digging. I still need to make rooms because they like colonists like individual rooms. And nothing more I think is going to to happen now, although sometimes this game lets you breathe for a while and then everything happens at once in in Rimworld. Excellent, interesting game. Oh, see what I mean? Exactly what I meant. I have some dogs that are trying to, to invade my private property now. And, well, there's nothing I can do but to fight. So, how many dogs? Uh, I think three, three, yes, three dogs are, at, are attacking my private property. And I don't have any traps ready yet, so that can be a little bit of a, of a problem. But hey, there's nothing else I can do but to fight, you know, as I don't have any, any traps ready on the floor. I need to take care of those traps as soon as I, I can. And, but that's it for today. I will fight the dogs later.